call this one part two alliance settings. So we're going to go through them one at a time because it's probably too much awesomeness to even pass up anything. So let's go ahead and do this. So first of all, we're going to go into colors. And yeah, there's a little lag there, but you know, I think it'll be all right. Uh, linked colors, switch which elements are linked to a theme. Oh, wow. Battery icons, linked, linked, unlinked. Oh, man, you guys can customize everything when it comes to the colors of the device if you want this is like insane wow wow you guys are gonna have to play with that 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 it looks just crazy so linked colors color a day so you can choose different colors for each day it looks like wow that's crazy Linked theme colors, main colors, you can do that. Um, enable text colors. That's pretty cool. So different, the text on here. So if you say primary text colors. So if you check it. Um, interesting. Looks like you can change all of those things. Customize backgrounds. Unlinked colors, restart UI to apply these mods. So when it comes to colors, it looks like you can get in there and kind of change whatever you want. I really like the theme though, personally. So then go status bar. So status bar icon transparency. So can you see through the icon itself? So right here there's none, but if you bring it down, I don't know if this is gonna do it. Yeah, it looks like you'd have to apply that um, with like a reboot or something like that. So let's see what else we got here. Status, status bar brightness control. Auto brightness must be off. So if you want that, you can go ahead and check it. And then what you can do then for brightness is you should be able to go like this, see? And turn up the brightness up and down just by doing that. As long as you have auto brightness off, that's pretty cool. Double tap to sleep is disabled. You can do that. That'll tell, double tap your screen to just make it turn off and go into sleep mode. Uh, battery optimization. Let's go ahead and check out that. Select battery. Update takes a minute. Select charging. So let's select our battery. So we have Alliance up there right now. I'm guessing that's what we're on. And it looks like there are quite a few cool different uh, modifications here. Let's try, I mean, let's try stock. And let's see if it takes a minute to update that, that battery icon. While we're doing that, let's see what else we got. We have Enable battery bar, so enable disable, let's go ahead and enable it. That adds that little bar of white up there on the top. Uh, battery bar style, regular or center, regular, we already, regular is fine, it's already on regular as default. Bar thickness, I like mine a little thicker than that, so I'm going to go with a 2, and it makes that a little thicker, easier to read. Oh, and there you go, the battery did update, so that's very nice. Um, so we have, so we got here, charging animation, things like that. So very cool, looks like text if you have text in your battery. Battery text size, you can do that. Let's see if we have um, one with text in it. There we go, plus percentage. That should update in a second. So very nice, looks like Wi-Fi signal and notification icons hide. Oh, this is nice. So if you always have like Bluetooth on, you can go ahead and select to hide Bluetooth icon because you don't need to see it up there all the time. Like when I have a watch connected like I have right here, it's really pointless. So I like that. That's cool. Definitely some nice things to hide some of those icons on the top. Let's go keep moving here. So we have toggles. So toggles are going to be these toggles up here. That's what they're talking about. So toggle style. Um, I just, I want to, I don't know if this changes instantly. Some of this stuff I think you probably have to reboot to get it to, uh, to change. Toggle background style. What do we have there? Stock, round, square, circle, glass. Hmm, interesting. Off. So I'm not seeing the toggles uh, really change. But uh, not seeing any changes instantly, at least. Notification panel. Oh man, there's all kinds of stuff. So notification panel is this notifications right here and how it looks and it's laid out. So recent 
apps button, settings, hide, no notification tiles. Wow, there's there's just man, this thing's so loaded, it's ridiculous. CPU usage bar. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. I'm gonna enable that. Let's see if it tells me. Yeah. Oh yeah, right there. See, you can see your CPU percentages and stuff. Awesome. Awesome. Really cool. Carrier stuff if you want to do that. Custom carrier label. We'll do one. Why not? Just for fun. Oh, and there's the keyboard. I didn't show you guys that yet. Root Junkie. Shabam. And then right there it is. Root Junkie. You can see it. Very nice. Let's see what else we have in here. Shortcuts. Um, alliance button is disabled. Interesting. Looks like you can set up a whole bunch of shortcuts. Alliance button action. Um, custom app, alliance settings. Let's try that and let's just see if... Oh, there it is right there. Alliance button. It just opens up. Alliance ROM settings, which is what we're in. We were just in it from a different interface. So, very cool. <laughs> I like that. That's pretty sweet. Um, power menu. So, this is what's going to show up when you do this. They're at talking about what's going to show up when you push your power menu button. So, I don't want to toggle data, accessories, disable, power off disabled. Um, I'll enable that. I'll enable restart, screenshot, screen record, restart method. Reboot to safe strap. That's very nice. So we'll go ahead and do all those. And you know what? Let's let's just really quickly see if those did change or not. Yeah, there they did. So screenshot. There you go. Here's your restart and recovery slash safe strap very nice very very nice so you can see those are some pretty cool toggles right there to continue on this doesn't even end phone mods call recording there you go increase ring restart phone to apply those settings animations screen off screen on effects scrolling effects oh my word Oh man, this thing's just so, there's so much too much, man. There's so much customization, I can't even cover it all. Lock screens, so if you want to set up your lock screen however you want it. Ink effects, and so on. Let's actually check our lock screen just out of curiosity. We'll go ahead and check it out. So that's what it is right now. Um, let's see what we have here. So Note 3 or AOSP lock screen. Let's try it again. I don't know if it's going to change that quickly. Yeah, it did. So there you go, camera, Google. You probably even add other buttons on it. So that's really nice. Um, you can enable different things and then add little hotkeys and stuff like that. Uh, ink effects, stock lock, menu, blah, 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 so on and so forth. General mods. Uh, screen rotation, full screen rotation, USB plug wake screen. LEDs, volume cursors, NFC mode type, ear protection. Oh man, it's just like... So you know that really annoying um, thing when you plug in your headphones and it tells you you can't turn the volume anymore? So right here, headphone ear protection is off. Boom. Headphone ear protection is on. You can adjust that. So you don't have to have that stupid annoying pop-up every time you turn the headphones up. And it looks like a lot of these things you have to restart... Uh, restart the uh, UI to get them working oh man it's just it's just too much man this thing's too amazing for words there's just so many options alliance apps there you go that's just basically one custom apps multi-window pen emojo switcher framework installer waha very nice this installs exposed framework and all of the modules that go along with it. So this is something you may want to get working because you can do some more amazing customization with it. And then restart apps. I'm not sure how that functions. Okay, so here we go. Restart phone, restart UI, restart browser, restart launcher, restart stock keyboard, um, full reboot, quick boot, reboot to recover, reboot to save strap, reboot to download mode, uh, full list. Um, press and add reset custom toggles. I'm not sure how that functions. I'm kind of curious. Execute. Hmm. 
go ahead and unlock it again. That was probably did a system UI to do that. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, you know what? Look at that. Those toggles have changed. Those are the Galaxy S5 toggles now. So the toggles do update too. It just does take some time. Might need a system UI restart to do it. There you go, guys. That's going to be video number two on the Alliance ROM settings. They are just crazy awesome. Play with them. Be surprised when you see something cool happen. And enjoy this amazing ROM. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out. Yeah.